basically in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. All right, uh, welcome aboard. To, we're, we're talking about the, a meteor shower that will be coming through and the best time to view it is going to be probably in the next day or so. So uh, uh, what are we looking at in, in the sky? What is the general uh, scientific explanation for what's going on up in the air in the next couple of nights? Sure, well, uh, this is a short window to get outside and have a look at this. The meteor shower is called the Draconids, and it, it hails from the name Draco the Dragon, the constellation in the northern portion of our sky. For about the next two days, two to three days, you go outside, you have a look. Don't, uh, don't start looking at 7 o'clock. you got to give it a little bit of time. Say about uh, uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock. This is a meteor shower, which is different than all the rest, because most meteor showers require you to get up about midnight and go outside and have a look. This time of year, not a lot of people want to do that. But this one, because of the constellation Draco the Dragon in the northern portion of our sky, is always visible. It never sets. It's always there. We can see this meteor shower pretty much right, right after dark uh, appears. So what you're looking towards is look towards the north, more or less, and have no trees, like a ball, uh, ball diamond, that kind of thing, nice clear area, horizon, and just look towards the north. Here's the big part. You got to be patient. Uh, wait 15, 20 minutes, and you should be able to see a shooting star. Now, someone may see the shooting star while the other family member is looking somewhere else, and they won't see it. So it pays to be looking in all the different directions here. But eventually, pretty much everyone will see one depending on how long you want to sit outside. Don't sit on the ground. The ground is cold. Don't forget you're going to be out there at least 20 minutes. The longer you wait, the more you're going to see. And don't forget to make a wish. <laughs> Very good. Uh, and then the best time in terms of dates are going to be what's the best date to look for this? What's the best night? When does it peak? Yeah, the best time to see this is uh, really Wednesday, Thursday, maybe into Friday, but definitely Wednesday and Thursday evenings is the best time to see this. It's short lived because Earth is actually passing through a debris trail that was left over by a comet that went through here in about 2018. When comets go by, there are little polluters, basically. They leave a lot of dust behind, and then eventually Earth passes through that dust field, and you get to see meters or shooting stars as we like to call them. Now uh, this comet passes through here every so often so it's a pretty fresh trail up there and the little dust pieces here. The dust is smaller than a grain or a speck of pepper. Very very small and uh, occasionally you might see a bright one uh, but not usually with this uh, associated with this meteor shower. The Leonids which takes place in November those are the ones that you really see super bright. So get outside Wednesday evening, Thursday evening, maybe into Friday, you might have a shot at it. Excellent. So Wednesday, Thursday is the best time. And just a quick review then, the best time to look is about between about 8 and 9 to 10 p.m., correct? That's, that's the beauty of this meteor shower. You can start as early as maybe 8, 8.30 or so, and it goes through the entire night. Usually meteor showers, the best time to see those is about 2.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's uh, usually most of us don't want to do that. Understandable. But uh, this shower is best at any time that it's dark. You may see some bright ones, maybe not. But just go outside starting about 8, 8.30, maybe 9 o'clock. That's better. Don't forget the moon's coming up. So earlier is better because that full moon is going to wash out the sky. So that's why I'm recommending as early as 8.30 or so. Excellent. And then you said which part of the sky is the best part? Just basically look towards the north, towards the, north. Uh, towards, uh, the general direction of Lake Erie, and use a wide span, nice wide area that you, can, that you can see. It's pretty much down to the horizon as best as you can. And just start gazing in all directions towards the north. You should be able to see something after 20 usually not more than 30 minutes. And take a blanket, take your family, or at least someone you like, maybe your friend or something, and just enjoy the time together. Excellent. Thank you very much.